cord. Then I think my joke was definitely the funniest. Share my desktop. <laughs> Some of y'all didn't get to hear my joke, and that's probably a good thing. Okay, so let's um, talk some more about this project. Hopefully the car stuff went okay for you yesterday. <clears throat> Today I'm live going to talk about task three, which is the hotels. This is the part where um, it can get the most confusing only because some of you are going to have some extra hotel stays. So what I'm going to do first is go in and just show you how to find a hotel um, based on the city where you're staying. So remember that my first city is San Diego. And then some of you are going to have to get um, hotels for one night here and there because your trip, uh, parts of your trip, the legs, different legs of your trip are longer than 800 miles. So I'm also going to show you how to do that. So remember from my document, um, let's see, here we go. So we're on task three. So it says refer to task two, part A, to determine how many nights you plan to stay in each city. Find a hotel in each, uh, find a hotel to stay in for each night. You will need to find the cost per night, then multiply that by the number of nights at that hotel. Be sure to fill out the table for all hotels you'll need to stay at on your trip. Excuse me. Don't forget, the hotels needed on the way to a city if it's too far to travel in one day. That's what I'll go over a second. It is okay if you have extra boxes in the table below to add, uh, and to add extra boxes as needed. You actually won't be able to do that, so I've put a whole bunch more in here this year than I normally do. Um, you're going to look up hotels on the internet. Again, Google, Kayak, Expedia, Priceline, Hotwire, those are all those travel sites. Um, you can also search using a specific hotel, such as a Super 8, maybe those are the hotels you like to stay in, and make sure that you're saving pictures. So as you look through the table, you'll see it's literally just row after row after row of potentially entering information. Then it asks for total costs, so you will need to add that up today, and including pictures of hotels. The only hotels you need a picture of would be the hotels from your five cities. So if, for example, and you're going to find out in a little bit, I'm going to have to stop twice on my way to San Diego because I can't drive more than 800 miles a day. And so on those two stops, um, I'm just going to spend the night for the night and then get up the next day and keep driving. Those hotels you don't need to take pictures of. So the first oh. thing I want to do is go and Google search um, a hotel in San Diego. Remember, I'm staying for four nights and... <clears throat> There's a hotel I know because I've stayed there before, Capri by the Sea, San Diego. Now, if you don't know a specific hotel, you just type in hotels in San Diego and then try to find something where you maybe would want to would wanna stay at. So um, this hotel is a little bit different because it's not like run by a hotel company. These are actually all little mini condos um, that are owned by people and they rent them out. So sometimes you can find uh, lots of different sites for these um, there's Expedia they're showing up on booking.com TripAdvisor this is um, this is like a resort company that will probably helps um, helps rent them out to people so that the person who owns it doesn't specifically have to do it um, but there it is there's the that's called the Capri by the Sea this is uh, San Diego. There's the big pier. So this is a, a really fun spot to stay in. It does say that you need to take a picture. So um, I'll probably just snap, snip one like this. I'm gonna so you need to take copy. pictures of the places like you're like you're like staying at in your main cities. Right. So this is gonna go. I'll just insert it here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Hold up. Wait a minute. Can you make these smaller? I forget. We talked about that yesterday. Yeah, we can. Okay, so there's my Capri by the Sea. Um, and now I need to go and start entering information. So the city is San Diego. Um, Capri by the Sea. Price per night. So now I need to go back and try to figure out... Um, you know how to rent one of these so reserve a unit you might have to look at some of the uh, options up top to figure out how to potentially oh nope don't want that and you might find yourself at a place that that doesn't work out well 
um, specials, promos. Uh, maybe I don't want this website. I really just want to find a place that's going to give me a price per night. Oh, jeez. So you just kind of scroll through these. Again, I, d I don't necessarily have to put um, check-in or check-out dates, but I could. Wait a minute. Um, there's a possibility that if you put a check-in date... Um, okay, I'm leaving the 16th. So I need the 18th. Wait a minute. Put my cup. Just in the there we go. <laughs> okay, so here we have, you can see it's $143 a night um, for one of those rooms. <clears throat> uh, you can sometimes go and find cheaper places, but it says lacking the lowest price from these sites. So there's $143 a night. And that's, that's all I really need um, specifically. So... 143, I need it for four nights, and then you're going to multiply 143 times four because I'm staying for four nights in San Diego. So $572 um, for my first hotel. Okay, so here's the other issue. I actually am going to have to move this down. Wait, what's happening? Don't do that. Is I'm gonna have to get a hotel. I'm gonna have to get two hotels on my way out to San Diego. And this is the part that's the trickiest because you're just trying to figure out where the heck am I getting a hotel? I don't know. So I'm gonna go back to Google Maps. I'm gonna type. I'm gonna type back in San Diego. Because I need to look at that route again because I need to decide where I'm going to be staying. Oh, there it was. Where'd it go? It helps if I spell it right. Uh, west, east, doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay, so remember that my trip, um, if I take my trip and I divide it by 800 miles, 2203 divided by 800. Um, I get 2.75, so it's going to take me three days to get there. So I have to stay in a hotel twice. Um, I've done this trip before. I stayed in St. Louis the first night, and we stayed in Albuquerque, New Mexico the second night. Um, but that maybe isn't quite feasible because it might be too far. So you're just going to do this visually, okay? I don't need you to actually be calculating exactly 800 miles away. Um, I wish as you dragged this little dot that it would tell you how far 800 miles was. But... Um, I need to split this into about thirds. I don't know. Oh, there's a crash. I don't know if I could get all the way to Oklahoma. So I'm going to kind of zoom in the map right there where I had my finger. And I'm going to find kind of a big city. Um, Springfield, Missouri is pretty big. Tulsa. Let me see how far Springfield is. And so watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to type Springfield, Missouri. I just want to see how many miles away it is from Kendallville. So it's 609 miles. So I could actually go a little bit further. What was that? Tulsa, Oklahoma? Was that the other one? Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa, yeah. That was right on my Tulsa's trip. There we go. That's 787 yeah. miles. So I'm able to drive that in one day. Um, so I need to get a hotel in Tulsa because I'm going to leave Kendallville on Saturday, May 16th. I'm going to drive 800 miles and I'm going to have to stop and spend the night. So what you have to do then is hotels in Tulsa. <clears throat> I only need one night. Um, and a lot of times right on Google, if you just type in hotels and then the city, you can see here that things are just going to pop right up. Um, I want it to probably be cheaper. So I'm going to go with this courtyard Marriott courtyard by Marriott Tulsa Central. So Dang, that's cheap. Back to my... Oh, I forgot everything's cheap right now because... Uh... Yeah, everything is cheap right now. What was that called? Court Yard by Marriott Tulsa Central. How much was it? 64? 63 or something like that. It Seven. Oh, we're both wrong. And I only need it for one night. 
Okay, so that's the first leg of my trip to San Diego. But now remember, going back, use your back button, it will be your friend. Going back. Going back. No, maybe not. Now I need to get from Tulsa, and I'm going to put Tulsa in here. Um, no, I'm going to put San Diego in here again. Except I'm going to put Tulsa as my starting point because now I need to find about halfway between Tulsa and San Diego. <clears throat> and again, this is for any kind of leg of the trip you might have where you go, travel more than 800 miles. So I will be checking this. If your distance is farther than 800 miles away, then I'm going to be going back and double checking to see where you got hotel rooms those nights. So I don't know about halfway between here and here. So let's just kind of zoom in in New Mexico. Albuquerque looks like a great place to stop. That's a big city. So now I'm going to type in hotels Albuquerque. What the heck? I wouldn't have spelled it like that. Okay, close enough. And there you go. Oh, another Courtyard by Marriott. I really like those Courtyard by Marriott's, right? They're pretty cheap. 80 bucks. So now I need to go back to my document again. Uh, what the heck? Somebody spell that for me. A-L-B-E-C-R-C-R-Q-U-E. <laughs> no, Q-U-Q-U-E, I think. A-L-B-U-R. A-L-B-U-O. Q-U-E-R. What the heck? That's not what I Because it's Albuquerque. Q <laughs> Could you imagine living there? Q-U-E-R and take out that R. There we go. Alba yeah, Alba address all the time. Albuquerque. Okay, name of the hotel. Court Yard by Marriott. A-L-B-E-R-Q-U-E-R-Q-U-E. It's $80. So again, I don't need pictures of those hotels, but I do need to put that I that I have to have them because. So basically, I'm going to drive from Kenneville to Oklahoma. I'm going to spend the night. I'm going to drive from Oklahoma to, to Albuquerque. I'm going to spend the night. Then I'm going to drive from Albuquerque to San Diego, and then I've arrived at my destination. So that's really what makes today's part the trickiest is that there are, and maybe it doesn't happen all the time, right? If my next city, if my next city was. Mm, Sacramento or San Francisco, California. That's not 800 miles away. So I could easily get on my next leg of my trip from San Diego to San Francisco and I wouldn't have any hotel stops in between there because it's not 800 miles. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. <clears throat> So all parts of your trip that are farther than 800 miles, you'll need a halfway point, and in this case, I needed a third of the way points, right? I needed two stops um, to get me all the way to San Diego. So that's what you're working on today. After you get through that hotel part, again, you need to total them all up. So I had 67 plus 80 plus, what was that last total, 572 572 plus, and you're going to have a whole lot going on here. Don't do that. I mean, you might have 10, 12, 15 hotels, depending on how far in the country you tried to go. Okay, so then you need your total, and then you need some pictures. Again, these will go in your presentation. So when I talk about San Diego in my slide, in my presentation, it'll have a picture of the hotel, picture of a place I like to eat, that kind of thing. So um, this is what you're doing today is the hotel portion. Um, it, it works out nicely because this portion probably will take you the longest, and obviously you've got you know the whole weekend. You don't have to worry about um, this doesn't get submitted on Monday. This will not get submitted until the following week. So are there any um, questions? Albuquerque is no. one of your locations. Steven, that's awesome. He goes, thanks for the work, Herbst. Yeah, you're, <laughs> if we hey, drive with my dad, there are no stops whatsoever. Yeah, well, even your dad can't drive 800 miles. 
Yeah, that's true. And all you're doing in those hotels is, you know, getting a bite to eat and then crashing, sleeping so that you can get up the next day and be alert. And does your dad sleep in the car too, Stephen? <laughs> While he's driving? Put it on autopilot. Yeah, I would low-key with a Tesla just so I can sleep and drive. Yeah, somebody tell me about a cool car they rented. Anybody rent a cool car or did we go more economic? I, I rented, rented a cool it. car. What'd you rent? Is that Amory? Yeah. What'd you rent? Something like Nissan. Nissan? Yeah, something. A Nissan. Yeah, those are nice. Those are a little nicer than probably what I got. So if we have a place that's 824 miles away, do we – no, you do not. Um, you c if, if I were – that one you can go ahead and drive the extra 24 miles. On something like that though, Connor, let's say you have a place that's 900 miles away. I wouldn't drive 800 miles, then spend the night, then drive 100. I would maybe drive like 450 and spend the night and then drive another 450. I would try to cut those in half. 20, remember, I think I said yesterday, anything, wait, so if mine's 827, you don't have to do it either. Remember yesterday I said if it was 850 or less, you can go ahead and drive those extra 50 miles. But even if it's 851, then you're going to have to find more like a halfway point versus having like a... You know, that that would be silly to drive 800 miles and then spend the night somewhere yeah, and then drive. I just find a stop in the middle and make, like, yeah. that, like, an actual, like, legit stop, too. That'll uh -huh. be easy. Yeah, I mean, you could. You could turn into that, but then you would have to take out a city somewhere else. You just figure stuff out, you know? Yeah. Just make it work. Anybody rent an RV? Anybody do that? I wondered if any of you were. I, I rented the Lamborghini SUV, the Lamborghini Urus. <laughs> How much does that cost? Uh, it's like I don't know. It's a lot. The but like the actual price of the car. Let me find out. A Lamborghini SUV. I didn't know they made SUVs and sports cars like that. Well, it's so. The base price is two hundred k. Wow. I would rent a moped that tops out at four miles per hour. Uh, um, guess, it's, guess it's mile per gallon. Oh, it's not called a sports car? No, it's a, it's a luxury vehicle. That's funny. Guess it's miles per gallon. Oh, probably terrible. Uh, 20? 17. 17. Do you know how many times you're going to have to stop and get gas? You're going to have to stop and get gas like every two hours. I do so, not care. I love this vehicle. When we drove my my brother, so it was Jake and I and my brother, and we drove him out to San Diego, and it was 2007. And I had this little white Mercury Tracer um, that's like a four-door, four-cylinder, tiny little car um, that we had to have a, a hitch installed on the back of it so that we could get a U-Haul and attach the U-Haul to this little four-cylinder car. So we decide to take off, uh, head to San Diego, and we left from Kendallville. Our first stop was actually in St. Louis because my aunt lived there, and she was going to let us stay for free. So we drove, we, we left in like the early afternoon, drove to San Diego, or drove to St. Louis and stayed at my aunt's. We had to stop every about 180 to 200 miles to get gas because the pull from that U-Haul was so bad on that car. We <laughs> didn't have enough horses to pull. No, we did not. Well, we made I'll it. Bet you we guys we did make it. all over the road too. Oh my gosh, it was awful. The, then the worst, that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part wasn't even stopping every 200 miles. The worst part was when we got out to the mountains. I don't know, what are those? The Sierra Nevada mountains that are in, what are the mountains in California? The big range that goes, did I say that right? Would Lutman be proud of me? I think it is Sierra Nevada. I think you're right. Range in Cali. Yeah, those are it. And they literally, it's like, they start way up here. I don't, I don't think you can see my screen anymore. They, they, it's a whole stretch of California. You can't get from the east side of California to the west side of California to where, like, the ocean and stuff is without going through these mountains. 
So we're going through these mountains with this little four cylinder with this trailer hooked on the back of it and you're going the elevation it's so steep you're going up so high so we would have to like floor the vehicle we would have to get it going as fast as it could because we would like coast up this hill we couldn't we would have it floored we'd be going uphill and the car was decelerating we were like we're not going to make it we're not going to make it over this hill <laughs> Yeah. That's crazy. So. That's crazy. Does a horse have a horsepower of one? Yes, it does. Yes. That's exactly where that comes from. So, like, if you were on a covered wagon in the Oregon Trail being pulled by two horses, you would have a horsepower of two. Two. You say four cylinder. Do you know what that means, Ben? Or are you, like, telling me I don't know what that means? No, he knows what it means. He's just saying, like, he was, like, surprised, like, it's like a four-cylinder car, and you're, yeah. like, pulling. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, so we made it. We did make it. It was a little touch-and-go there in those mountains. We weren't quite sure we were going to make it over those hills, but yeah, it was a fun trip. I, that's why I think I like this trip so much, because it's the first time I'd ever really, like, driven across the country like that, and I – it was also the last time I've ever driven across – it's the only time I've ever driven across the country, but it was so cool. It was really cool. I bet it would have been a lot cooler if you weren't jerking up the trailer if you were driving. Yeah, and I didn't even end up driving that much because I just – I didn't feel confident in my driving. I hate ability. driving the truck trailer. and trailer Trailers because are, like – They're hard to drive. They're hard to park. They're hard to turn. They're hard to do everything with unless you know what you're doing. I'm pretty comfortable with the trailer, but so – I, our trailer, though, it jerks because we pull so much hay with it. The axles are starting to wear out, so we had to get a new trailer. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it jerks a lot. And I'm, I have to go, like, quarter mile, mile down the road every time I pull it. So it's not that big of a deal, but it sucks because I'm, like, I feel like I'm going forward 20 feet and I jerk back five. <laughs> You're never going to get there. Idaho, yeah. that sounds exciting, Macy. Is Idaho exciting? As exciting as it sounds? The drive was probably I'll fun. Yeah. Texas. I don't want to be an Indian anymore. I'm ready to 